Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. And first off, I want to thank all of you guys who have been commenting on all the videos this past week. We've had a lot of great CSK News episodes, a lot of great feedback down below, not only in likes, but as well as comments. So feel free to leave your feedback down below, guys. I really do appreciate that. And you might want to skip this news story if you have heard about the new Valve major process. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to explain that to you, as well as maybe the possible shift in the market we're going to see because of this. And then we'll hop into some other great CSK News stories. So first off, Valve has actually revamped the entire major process. For those of you who are where I'm sure many of you guys are. We actually had the previous version, which was the major qualifi qualifier would go on between 16 teams. They would then, of course, work it down to eight teams. The eight teams would then become the challengers, and that would actually then, two weeks later, they would join the legendary teams for the major itself. They would be down to 16 teams. The process has now been changed completely as the major qualifier and the major have now been combined into one big two-week-long event, where the first week is spent doing the major qualifier, so we still have our 16, uh, our 16 teams competing down to the final eight. Those eight teams will still then join the other eight teams, the legendary teams, and commence immediately. So we'll go right from the major qualifier, right to the group stage of the major, and then of course to the, to the playoffs of the major as well. So instead of, instead of having that big break in between the major qualifier and the major, it's now all in two weeks straight, which could be good, it could be bad. We'll see what happens though, guys. And this will be how the E-League major in 2018 in Boston, Massachusetts will be run as well. But on top of that, one other big change we have confirmed on top of that. Uh, of course, formerly the major was 16 teams. This does technically mean that 24 teams will be going to the major and a big money grab here for Valve and for of course the affiliates and the organizations and the people running the event itself there will be 24 teams all receiving stickers so this could affect the market in an immediate way so first off a big warning to all of you gold sticker people out there who actually invested into gold stickers I have no idea how this will affect the market I have actually sold mine off I don't want to affect the market anyway here guys but it could be a big thing here if Ely decides to release their own gold stickers for 24 teams it could really deflate the market for those gold stickers or stickers in general. Now on top of that as well, people very angry or could be angry I know we've had people on both sides of the fence so far that now we have 24 teams all getting stickers. Is it really going to devalue the sticker in general? We're going to have a lot of random teams out there like a Vanguard or Tai Lu or Quantum Bellator, teams you've never even heard about also having stickers, but it's also a great thing. We're going to see some new teams with stickers like Misfits or 100 Thieves. It's going to be awesome to see, guys. I'll show you guys pictures, of course, of the teams on screen. I think we have six or seven new teams who did not have stickers before, and I think it's like 20 to 30 new players who will have individual player stickers too. So it's a great thing for the players and the teams to make money, but it's also a great way for Valve to make money. So of course, kind of a negative positive shift there. What do you guys think about the new process? I think it's going to be really cool to see how well it works out. The major has now been changed. The whole process revamped. We now have 24 teams in the major, a two week process, and we'll see how well it goes in Boston, Massachusetts sometime in 2018. Now bouncing off that though, some other big news for the major besides the big market shift, which could happen. And again, do me a favor guys, leave a prediction down below. How do you guys think the sticker market will react? Are gold stickers going to go up in price, down in price? Leave a comment down below what you guys think about that. We do have two teams heavily affected though right now due to visa issues and illness. The first of which is a big hit to the Chinese team Tai Lu, the number one Chinese qualifier. I'm sure many of you guys are aware they're by far and away the best Chinese team but still not expected to actually make the major itself but they will be in the major qualifier or whatever they're calling the new stage now. They will be playing though without their best iconic player, the notorious BNT or uh, Bennett as I used to you know mispronounce but BNT will not be there. He actually tried to apply for a visa that has been rejected and it will be uh, Bondic instead, formerly of HR, on loan still to play for Ty Lue at the major qualifier. That's a huge hit for them and I would, just be based off the information alone, I would expect them not to qualify. That'll be a big stretch. We had Bondic also replying to BNT and telling him he'll do his best. On top of that though, even a bigger hit for a team who's already in the major, a legendary team in Astralis. It does seem the health issues undergone by device a while ago, this actually been almost nearly a month ago, uh, are ser still very, very serious. He might not be playing as much as he used to and not quite to form or he might still be very very sick we have yet to have updates from him himself or the team about devices situation we did have glaive though with a great interview i'll link the full interview down below for all of you guys but i'll quit play the really quick clip here as well where glaive says they're still crossing their fingers and hoping device will be able to play he's not going to be playing ecs finals for the team that will be i believe rubino still um, but hopefully they're going to have him back for the major guys here's what glaive had to say about that current situation as strauss is undergoing yeah it's uh, right now we have uh, ecs finals and then we have a uh, vacation uh, winter vacation and then we are thinking about the major after the winter vacation I think so right now we are not thinking too much about it and right now we're just crossing our fingers that devil will come back um, and if he doesn't then we will probably play with Sonic I guess uh, and yeah that's it for now
So this might just be an event that we don't see a lot of top tier players, a lot of players that are definitely going to be big carriers for their teams, whether they can or cannot make it. BNT cannot make it. Device may not make it. Then we have, of course, Steel on Team Liquid, Bolts on SK Gaming. This could be a very disappointing event, but for the new revamp form, I have high expectations, guys. Um, so we'll hopefully cross our fingers and have all of those players. And maybe Valve even touch on the fact that they're going to review the case for SK Gaming or Liquid. They still have time to do that before the major qualifier January 12th. So we still have a good month of time for Valve to come out. Cross your fingers, guys. Maybe we'll see some of these players at the actual major that we do want to see the best Liquid, the best SK Gaming perform there. On top of that, though, for our other story, I do want to talk about McSkillet. I know I've not talked about this in a long time, but I have a lot of respect for a guy who can make so much money off a game of that we all play, CSGO. He actually had a video the other day, which I want to mimic and actually make my own. He talked about his new car that he bought. It's actually a McLaren 650S. Why I'm talking about this is because the car itself is worth at least a quarter of a million dollars. And if you would have asked me a couple years ago, any time in my life, if someone could actually make a quarter of a million to $300,000 just to spend on a car, who knows how much money this guy has made if he's willing to spend that much money on a vehicle, uh, it's just insane to say. He also, he goes on to uh, talk about, of course, he's had a string of gambling websites, and of course, his videos do very well, and his trading website on top of that. The guy is a genius. He, he's definitely played the game to the best of his ability. He's made hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Nothing but respect goes to him, and I had to share that story with all of you guys. That's insane to say, like, say that a guy I know on YouTube that p plays a video game makes that much money. Of course, I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that make that much money, and I'll be doing my own car video very soon, guys. He has a McLaren 650S, but I got a 2004. Cadillac with 208,000 miles worth about seven thousand six four four thousand dollars blue book so get at me yeah I'm gonna end the video there thank you guys all for watching seriously I can't I can't thank you guys enough for the great support if you guys do enjoy CSGO news leave a like on the video and uh, I'll see you guys in a couple days all right bye <laughs>